dual switching mechanisms work is actually printing now as you can see and in a little bit it's going to switch the extruders so that retracts and then once it goes to the other one it will start printing blue as you can see everything is working pretty well um, I still need to get rid of that clicking noise in the extruder um, because when the when the blue is printing that little magnet wheel is skipping over and over again which makes a clicking noise which is kind of annoying um, so any suggestions for that would be awesome um, other than that just need to uh, kind of get rid of some of the play in there because it's really like wobbling around just need to tighten up the tolerance a little bit, but as you can see, if you can really see, um, there's no layer shifting going on, so it's switched maybe, I don't know, 10 times or something, and I, I really can't see any indication that anything has shifted, um, so that's great news because that's something I was worried about, um, but yeah. As you can see, it's all hooked up. Uh, I don't have the blower fan on there yet. That will be attached somewhere um, to the hot end fan. I also have this piece of tape over the uh, over the fan, the bottom of the fan, so it doesn't cool the hot ends too much. So I was having problems with it uh, not being able to keep up. I gotta switch it again. Um, I was having problems with it not being able to keep up with the uh, cooling, so I just put a tape, a piece of tape over it. Um, I'm actually going to change the uh, folding piece, this piece right here, to have a uh, little shroud so that it doesn't blow on those hot ends. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, I was going to make that clamp a little bit bigger, instead of putting all the junky spacer in there. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, cut off these uh, metal pieces, and um, yeah, make this a little bit thicker so it doesn't wobble around when it's printing. Um, that's about it. Just make it more robust in general, but for now it works. Thanks for watching.